Does eating fiber get in the way of nutrient absorption? Today I'm going over scientific studies on whether eating more fiber decreases your absorption of vitamins and minerals, as well as heavy metals. Hey there, I'm Mish, and I am a full-time research scientist with my PhD, and by day I conduct and publish studies of my own, whereas by night I share the results of other studies here to help you reach your weight loss, fitness, health, and nutrition goals. And today I will be talking about whether eating fiber gets in the way of getting all your micronutrients. And first, I just want to remind you of the new goal I have, which is to start doing Q&A videos once we hit a critical mass of 50 patrons over on Patreon, because the goal is to get a bunch of interesting and varied questions to be able to do a video answering all those questions every month or so. So check out the Patreon, which is linked in the description below if you are interested in Q&As and things like that. In last week's video, I talked about how certain types of fiber actually make you absorb fewer calories from your food, and the effects I go over there are pretty crazy, so if you haven't already, be sure to check that video out after you're done with this one. But one of our patrons asked an excellent question that I'm sure many of you had as well, which is whether fiber gets in the way of your ability to absorb micronutrients, because if it makes us absorb fewer calories, it should make us absorb less of everything, right? And it seems to me like the current common wisdom or public narrative is that eating more fiber makes micronutrients, especially minerals, less bioavailable. So it makes people absorb fewer nutrients from their food. But what do the actual studies say? Well, unsurprisingly, as is all too often the case, when you look at the actual scientific studies, you get a very different answer from what the public and YouTube gurus are telling people. When you look at fiber in a test tube, it does indeed bind minerals. So you add some drops of fiber and you add some minerals and you find that minerals do indeed stick to fiber, to put it very simply. So people took these test tube studies to mean that if we eat fiber and we eat minerals, then the minerals will get stuck to the fiber and we will not absorb the minerals. But tons of studies have tried to find this in humans with no luck. They have not found that eating more fiber decreases mineral absorption. Instead, studies have actually found that eating more fiber can increase absorption of some minerals. In particular, eating more soluble fiber leads to a fermentation process that happens in the gut with your gut bacteria that actually releases more minerals for you to absorb. For example, studies have found this to be the case with magnesium and calcium. And while editing this video after filming it, I realized I wanted to add a clarification, which is that fiber does bind minerals early on in digestion. So if you see anyone saying, look, but studies found that fiber does bind minerals in digestion, it's almost certainly referring to that. So fiber does temporarily bind up some minerals early on in digestion, but then once the fiber and minerals get to your large intestine, that fiber actually leads more minerals to be unlocked for you to absorb than would have been released otherwise without the fiber. So fiber ends up making up for any binding it does early in digestion, such that by the time you have completed digesting your food, you get the same or even more minerals than you would have gotten without the fiber in terms of how much is actually getting absorbed into your body. So the main takeaway to this first question about whether fiber affects mineral absorption, the answer is that fiber does not hinder your ability to absorb minerals and it may even enhance your absorption for things like magnesium and calcium. And there's no good evidence in humans that fiber reduces vitamin absorption either. In fact, observational studies find that people who eat more fiber tend to have more vitamins in their blood. For example, people who ate higher dietary fiber were found to have more folate in their blood. And interestingly, even though fiber is found to not bind micronutrient minerals like magnesium, fiber does bind heavy metals like arsenic and lead and mercury and cadmium. Studies find that most of the heavy metals that people have in their blood comes from fish intake. So for example, one study found that in people who ate fish, the people who ate more dietary fiber had much fewer heavy metals in their blood. And specifically, they found that for every 10 additional grams of fiber that people ate in their diets, their blood contained 7% less cadmium and 6% less lead. So eating more fiber predicts people having less heavy metals circulating in their blood, despite them eating all these heavy metals from fish. So it seems like fiber is able to grab onto those heavy metals from that fish that you otherwise would have absorbed and safely get it out of your body instead of it getting absorbed into your blood. So if you're interested in harnessing the weight loss and calorie binding and heavy metal binding power of fiber, the science strongly suggests, the actual science from actual studies, strongly suggests that you do not need to worry about having your minerals getting bound up or your vitamins getting bound up in that fiber. In fact, studies show that people who eat more unprocessed plant-based foods are taking in a lot more micronutrients and tend to have higher levels of all these micronutrients in their blood. 
So really eating more fiber is a win-win, especially when it comes from food sources like whole grains, legumes, vegetables, and fruits. And if you want to help make Q&A videos a reality and also get Q&As currently in the chat, as well as know the video topics in advance and get to vote on them and contribute to them, as well as get text summaries of each video so you can easily get the main takeaways of my videos, then head on over to my Patreon, which is in the description below. And if you find my videos helpful or interesting and you are interested in supporting the channel, in addition to the Patreon, you can also donate via my GoFundMe on a one-time basis, which I very, very much appreciate your support in every way, from Patreon to GoFundMe to the kind comments you leave. So thank you so much for keeping me motivated and inspired. And if you like this video, please like and share it so that other people can get this information and learn that they do not need to be scared about losing their minerals to fiber. And if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell below to stay up to date on all this science. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.